Video games are a form of entertainment for everyone these days, from adults to children. But not all video games are made for everyone to play. There are specific guidelines for the age group that video games are made for. I grew up playing video games, and none of the violence and none of the bad things that people say come from playing video games ever happened to me, because my parents were directly involved in my gaming. I played Pac-Man many, many, many evenings with my father, up until it, he didn't have to work, up until early, early in the next morning. These were some of the best memories I had. I urge parents to be safe about their children's gaming and be informed and not let them play games or purchase them games that are not appropriate for them. Atari 2600 was, it was the Pac-Man was a far cry from Xbox and Call of Duty today. I understand that games are much more graphic. That's why as parents we need to be much, much more careful. Games are, there are games for everybody, even babies. My daughter has her own system. This is one of the games. It's for ages 9 months to 3 years. These games show you counting, colors, it's a very learning experience with all kinds of stuff. It's cognitive ability. My daughter, this is this is the actual controller. She can pick out a star, mm -hmm. a square. She knows the color red. All because of this video game. Mm -hmm. But we get into video games that are made for older children. Like older, like thirty years to however old. You need to know which ones are appropriate for your children. Games start with ratings from the ESRB, which is the Entertainment Systems Rating Board. This provides guidelines what is roughly the age for age group for a game. This particular game is from the E age group. You can find the rating on the corner here of every game. Every game has to have a rating. And it's on the front cover and on the back. It has um, even a description of why the game is rated what it is. I know that individual children vary, so it's really up to the parents to judge what game is appropriate for their particular child. However, with, as a guideline, this is an E-rated game. It is for everyone. It's for everyone class. It's considered for everybody three and older. This game has mild cartoon violence, and it's kind of the squash, squash and stretch thing you see in like Looney Tunes. Something everybody's used to. And then there's the E10 class. Most of these games are a little more complicated and are harder to play. So. It also contains real world violence. This particular game, you can crash a car. So it's for ages 10 and over. Everyone has probably heard of Guitar Hero. Most people don't know that Guitar Hero is not intended for children under 13. It is from the T class, which is 13 and over. These games can contain some bad language, some violence, um, but this one is that the Guitar Heroes are rated teen because the lyrics sometimes have some suggestive content to the game play. And then you end up with the Mature class. The Mature class cannot be purchased by someone under the age of 17. I play this game. This is Call of Duty World, at, or no, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I play this game online. And many, many, many times I get online and I see a six-year-old spouting obscenity that is absolutely unrealistic. This is why this kind of game does not belong in the hands of a six-year-old. This game contains blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. There is also a class above this. It's called the AO class. This is adults only. You cannot be under the age of 18 and purchase this game. This kind of game can contain all the gore, the violence, but it can also contain prolonged nudity and sexual content. 
It is important to know which games your child is interested in and which games that they want to play and find out if that's appropriate for them. Um, you wouldn't let your child watch a rated R movie. So you don't want to let them play a video game that's the same content. There are many um, websites available like Cyber Angel. That helps you with the um, online play. It, it describes how the children can play online, but also how to keep them safe while doing it. There is also um, gaming with children. This website promotes the involvement of the parents with the child while gaming. So you see directly what is going on in the game and how it affects your child. Gaming. Um, GamerDad.com also offers a forum where you can discuss the games with the children and with other parents and why they think certain games are appropriate or inappropriate. Um, most of all, you need to just pay attention to what your kids are playing. And I urge you not to buy your children games that are not for their age group because those children can't buy those games by themselves. And more than likely, the person buying them is the parent. 